Hello. You have found the Leiden Technology Info for the start of 2020-2021 school year presentation. My name is Brian Weinert, and I'm the Director of Technology for the District. Before I begin, I want you to know that this entire slide deck with all of the links to the resources will be available to you at the link below. In this presentation, I'm going to cover seven different topics. Technology support, Chromebook Wi-Fi connectivity, optional Chromebook insurance, Schoology, Home Access Center, G Suite for Education, and security. So let's get started with technology support. How do you and your students get help in an e-learning environment at Leiden? We've tried to make this as easy as possible and provide you two different options for requesting help. The first option is to send an email to student tech support at Leiden212.org. Include your name, your student's ID number, and a description of the technology problem. The other option is to call 847-451-5591, leave your name, student's ID number, and a description of the technology problem. Either of those methods will automatically open a ticket in our help desk ticketing system. All of the tickets are available to every member of the Leiden Technology Department. When available, a Leiden Technology Department member will get in touch with each person that opens a support ticket, either through email or, if necessary, by phone. If a problem allows, a Leiden Technology Department member may be able to assist you or your students by remotely connecting to your student's Chromebook. Please note, students must be on their Chromebooks and allow those remote connections. We are not able to connect to student Chromebooks without student permission. Sometimes we can't resolve a problem by connecting remotely. So if a support ticket is related to a hardware issue or something that we cannot fix remotely, students will be able to schedule an appointment at their school to have their Chromebook repaired. If a repair cannot immediately be completed, a loaner Chromebook will be available to the student. Now let's talk about Chromebook Wi-Fi. This is internet connectivity for Chromebooks. At Leiden, we will provide students that do not have consistent home Wi-Fi with a mobile hotspot. The first thing that needs to happen is a student or parent needs to fill out the mobile hotspot request. The link to that form is on this slide. Shortly after submitting a request, the assistant principal's office will call the student's parent or guardian to confirm the need for the hotspot and to obtain permission for the student to accept the hotspot. The Leiden Technology Department will set up hotspots for those students that get approved by the assistant principal's office and contact the student and the parent via email when it's ready to be picked up. A quick note here. The hotspots that we provide students currently are only available to be used by Leiden Chromebooks. After a student or parent receives an email indicating that a hotspot is ready to be picked up, the student or parent will need to reply to that email to schedule an appointment to bring their Chromebook to the school to complete the setup and check out the device. The next topic is Chromebook insurance and this is optional. Please visit the Chromebook Info section of the Leiden website to learn more about optional insurance for the upcoming school year. On that website, you'll find a page for optional insurance that includes a link to the 2020-2021 application, a booklet with more information, the claim forms, and a parent portal. The district does repair or replace damaged equipment that's under warranty resulting from normal use. All other breakages will be the responsibility of the student to pay for. The district makes its best attempt to purchase replacement parts at the best possible price. Loss or theft of the device is also the student's responsibility 
and will result in the students being charged the full replacement cost to purchase a new device. This optional insurance plan is hosted by a third party provider and is truly optional. I will tell you that some of the parts that we replace in Chromebooks are actually less than the deductible that you'd be paying. So this is truly an optional uh, plan for you to decide upon. You can get the direct link to the Chromebook info section of the Leiden website from this slide. Now let's talk about Schoology. Schoology is the learning management system for the district. Schoology is truly where it's at when it comes to remote learning. All remote e-learning resources and materials for students will be housed in Schoology. Students can get access to Schoology from any web browser on any computer by going to the custom URL on the screen, https colon slash slash schoology.leiden212.org and logging in with their school email address and password. We also provide access to Schoology for parents and guardians. Parents and guardians with an active email address on file with the district will receive a Schoology registration email with their username and password shortly after the school year begins. Parents and guardians need to go to Schoology.com to log in, not the custom URL that students go to. For parents and guardians that do log in, I strongly encourage you to change your password the first time you log in. You can do that by clicking on your name in the upper right corner of the window, choosing settings, and then scrolling down and clicking on the change your password link to complete that process. Schoology also offers a convenient mobile app that can be installed on phones and tablets. Parents and guardians can use that app and log in directly with their username and password. Students have a little more setup to do because of our custom URL. Students should click on the link on this slide to learn how to set up their mobile app. The next topic is Home Access Center. This is our official student parent guardian portal. What's in the Home Access Center, otherwise known as HACC? You'll find official attendance information, official grades, progress reports, and this coming year we're going to have two progress reports each quarter. You can see the dates listed on this slide. You'll get access to report cards, unofficial transcripts, the contact information that you have for you and your student on file with the district, and links to lots of other Leiden resources. To get access to the Home Access Center, simply click on the little house icon from the top of any page in the Leiden website. Students will log into the Home Access Center by using their username and password. The usernames are the student's first initial, last initial ID number. So for example, my username might be BW12345. Student passwords are capital first initial, lowercase last initial, pound sign or hashtag, and the six digit locker combo. So for example, my password might be capital B, lowercase w, pound sign, hashtag, 100527. So if my locker combination was 10, 5, 27, that's how it would be in my password. I know that we're not starting the school year in session, but every student will still be assigned a locker and a locker combo. That information will be found in the handouts during the pickup events to begin the school year. Similar to Schoology, we also have the ability for parents and guardians to log into the Home Access Center. Parents and guardians will receive an email regarding their hack accounts a few days before school begins. New users of the Home Access Center will receive instructions for how to register and set up their own accounts. Returning users will receive a reminder about their accounts. For parents and guardians only, again, I recommend that you change your password the first time you log in. To complete that process, click on your name in the upper right corner of the window and select My Account. Then scroll down to the Change Password area to complete that process. Another great feature for parents and guardians through the Home Access Center 
is to change your email address on file with the district. There's no need to call anybody. You can do this on your own. After logging into the Home Access Center, click on the registration icon. Scroll down to the contact section and click on the edit button. A window will pop up that shows you all of your email addresses and phone numbers on file with the district. At this time, you can only update your email address through Hack. Once you've updated your email address, scroll to the top and click on Save. Any other information that you need to change will have to be done by calling your assistant principal's office. The next topic is G Suite for Education. This is a suite of educational creation and collaboration tools used by all Leiden students, faculty, and staff. Within the G Suite platform, all users will get access to Gmail, Google Drive to organize their documents, Google Docs, which is a word processing tool, Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet tool, Google Slides, which is a slide deck creation tool, much like what you're viewing here, Google Forms to create online forms to collect information, Google Calendar, and lots more. The power of this platform truly comes from the ability to publish, post, and share information from student to teacher, student to student, uh, faculty and staff to each other. It is truly a powerful platform that allows for creation, collaboration, and communication. The last topic I'd like to touch upon is security, the tools that we're using to keep your students safe. The first tool is Securely. Securely is the district's content filter for students. All Leiden student accounts are filtered wherever they are and on any device they log into, whether it's their district issued Chromebook in school or at home, a personal computer at home, or even at grandma's house in another state. And Securely is a Children's Internet Protection Act approved content filter. Leiden also offers the option for parents and guardians to get weekly reports of their students' at-home Chromebook activity. Please watch your email for more info shortly after the school year begins regarding these reports. We also have another tool called Gaggle. Gaggle is a real-time monitoring service used by Leiden. All student emails sent and received and all documents in their Google Drives are reviewed by Gaggle for inappropriate content. Gaggle has three different incident levels. If inappropriate content is found, either in an email or a document created by a student, it could be, fall into one of these three categories. It could be a user violation, which is a minor offense, and the student could get an email directly from Gaggle about the situation. If it's a little more severe than that, it's called questionable content. And a building level administrator will get an email notification about the inappropriate content found. If, however, inappropriate content is found at the highest level, called a possible student situation, this would be something where there is a credible threat to or against the student, um, self-harm, uh, or other severe inappropriate content, a building level administrator will actually get a phone call at any time during the day when the content is found. To wrap up this presentation, I want to make sure that you remember two really important things. First, if you or your student needs help at any time, please send an email to studenttechsupport at Leiden212.org or call 847-451-5591 to open up a help desk ticket. And second, please make sure you have a valid email address on file with the district, as email will be the primary method of communication throughout the year. Either update your email in the Home Access Center or call your school's assistant principal's office to make sure that it gets updated. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation and have a great start to the 2020-2021 school year.